Hey everyone, it's a quick 3D printing project for this video. I'm writing a little game to run on my ESP32 and want to have a nice game controller. I'm going to have a rotary control and four buttons. Let's jump into Fusion 360 and get designing. As always, we'll start off with a sketch. I'll add the two circles that will form the main shape of the controller and then the four holes for the buttons. I've already measured the diameter required for these at 24.4mm. I want to arrange these in a symmetric pattern, which I can do with some construction lines and constraints. I'll add a constraint to make sure there is some margin between the buttons and the edge of the controller, and another constraint to keep a margin between the buttons. We'll also need a hole for the rotary encoder shaft, and I'll make a circle for the knob. We'll add a dimension to keep the two main circles separated, and finally, to give us a nice curve, we'll chop out the overlapping parts of the circle and fillet the corners. We can now extrude the top of the controller and start adding in the buttons and encoder. I'll add the four buttons and the rotary encoder, and now I'll use joints to assemble them into the holes. I'll need to go back and modify the hole for the shaft to fit the screw through and I'll also add a small collar to support the encoder. With that done, we can extrude the sides of the controller. I'm going to flatten the tabs of the buttons so we don't need to make the controller overly deep. And now we can extrude the bottom to close our object up. I'll set the appearance of the object to black plastic since that's what I'll be printing. And now I'm adding a bevel to the edges to make it slightly more comfortable to hold. We'll need to split the case into two parts so we can get the components inside. Um, I'll also be doing this as a friction fit, so I'll add a lip to the bottom and to the top of the case. I'll just uh, rearrange the split body position to make it more central. And finally, we'll need to make a hole for the wires to come out. That's our controller pretty much finished. We'll get it printed and try it out. The switches simply clip into the holes. and the rotary encoder just bolts on. I've printed a large knob for the encoder and I've wired everything up. It seems to work pretty well. Thanks for watching. I've got an interesting project I'm building towards, so don't forget to subscribe.